Sarah. And I'm David. And we're talking about Amazing Race. Oh, man. We're headed to Prague. <laughs> oh, wait, I already started to press. It's, it's a difficult episode. Yeah, the ending was not our favorite. I, the ending wasn't my favorite, but I actually did enjoy the episode. Like, Great I thought episode. it was much more difficult than it has been. Uh-huh. And... Like you said, we're headed to Prague on different flights. Yes. Finally. So we've separated the pack, right? Four teams get on the first flight yes. arriving at 10 a.m. And then we've got three arriving an hour later. So people are separating we a little bit. We finally get a little bit of a separation. So Yale, Ocean Rescue, Extreme, and the Firefighter Twins are on the first flight. Yep. So they all get in their cabs and they all get to that statue of Dvorak at the same time. Mm -hmm. And we've got a double U-turn at the statue, but they all decide not to use it. They're in the lead. Why would they? Right. They have an hour in between. Yeah. They don't need to. Yeah. And then everyone has to pick this or that, not knowing no what No description. It is. Yeah. Yes. That's hard. Yeah. They sort of split half and half, right? Ocean Rescue and the twin firefighters end up doing this lecture thing, even though Ocean Rescue bails on that really quickly. Real quick. And then the rest of the teams do this beer keg thing. I mean, the beer keg thing is a typical physical challenge. Yeah. Just such sort of stacking, moving, do this, pour the beer, run over right. there. You know, the lecture thing? What the what? I know. Which also, it was tailor-made for Team Yale, <gasps> and they didn't get to do it. And they don't even know it exists. <laughs> yeah. Because there's nothing in the clue to tell you right. that you might need some smarts. And people show up for this, and they're like, Oh, but what Ocean is, Rescue what? was like, we skipped class to go to the beach. Like <laughs> They're like solid C students here, not I know, doing this. But I was kind of like blown away by that because I'm like, you can't just listen and like try to remember things. Right. Like it's not that hard. I but mean, I guess people are just having flashbacks to school and they're like, I can't do it. I can't do school anymore. And it's boring. It is boring. Material and for it's most tedious. People. Yeah, for sure. I mean, there are some science minded people who would be like, yeah, I got this. Yeah. And I think when you're just sitting in a lecture, hall you feel the time ticking more right. than if you're doing something physical and you can sort of measure how far you That's are. That's true. You're so doing something. Ocean yeah. Rescue is like we gotta get out we of here. We gotta go. And cute little firefighters. <laughs> were adorable. Yeah, just they stuck to it. They really tried <laughs> and they were like, well, I guess we'll just be going back and forth yeah. now. And they basically did. They're like, question one, wrong. Okay, let's okay, go. Let's go learn question we'll one. Get yeah. this and they go back. Question, okay, let's go back. <laughs> we'll I learn mean, that one. They yeah. did it eight times, right? I'm yeah, pretty I think sure it was so. eight times. Yeah, but finally Shockingly they got through. Shockingly enough, they end up leaving in first place. Yes. Is what the Chiron said. They get out of the detour first. Back over at this, mm -hmm. <laughs> moving kegs, extreme, diving in, doing their thing. Great teamwork. Yale, not the strongest people in the world, right. but they're there. And oh, they're, you, we, we saw their cracks. I was going to say, I would say generally this episode, the team seemed a little more stressed. Yeah, which Indy makes sense. Car was bickering more. Ocean Rescue was bickering. Yeah. Like there's, they're starting to just get under each other's yeah. skin a little well, bit. Well, we're halfway through. Yeah, so and now's about the time. you're tired. Uh-huh. And you're tired of this person and not doing what you want. Right, exactly. <laughs> not doing what we agreed on. So Yale is, but they're doing fine, right? Oh, like sure. they, they get the perfect pour and because then they can move their Henry thing. doesn't have a I know. opinion. He poor just guy. doesn't have an argumentative oh, bone in his body. Oh gosh. He's like, sure. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. She's like, in the future, I would. And he's uh -huh, like, uh -huh, 100%. Yeah. yeah. He just was, no, you're right. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. That was hilarious to see how they're, what their dynamic really right. is. So the first team out of those three to get to the water with their keg is Team extreme and then they get to the next point of the race first so they sort yes. of leapfrog over the twin firefighters at this yes. point. Yes, they, those seem to be pretty close yeah. but yes. So apparently after you do the all the keg stuff you have to go find this boat to deliver it to. Mm -hmm. Everyone seemed to be a little bit lost Yeah. but if you read the little you know lower third that they would pop up it was crazy how long these teams were running around looking for the boat. I know. I think Extreme was only like 30 minutes, which sounded like a lot at that time. Yeah. But then Ocean Rescue, an hour and yeah. 30 minutes they That's were running around stressful. with a keg, yeah. not knowing where they're going. And that dolly, I, that was like giving me flashbacks for Team Yale to that I know, right? race with the Freets. Uh, I was like, no, uh, uh, please uh, do uh, not give them another dolly to run around. They can't do it. But they seem to handle it just fine. That has got to be 
demoralizing to just be running around the streets of Prague with this dolly with a keg on it. No totally idea where confused. you're going. Don't know where you're going. You're exhausted. Some people definitely struggled with that. So now we have our second flight landing. Right. Big Brother runs to the lecture. <laughs> Quickly you're like, no, well, no, wait. no. First, oh. the three teams get to the Dvorak statue. Big Brother gets there oh, right before Wellstrung and they U-turn Wellstrung. And Wellstrung is the last <sighs> team so they can't U-turn anybody else. Yeah. And that's really the only time you're gonna U-turn someone. Yep. Is you know you're the second to last team. And you gotta and you give gotta yourself an advantage. Give yourself a little bit more time. Big thing in yes. that episode. That was a bummer. Yeah. So then Big Brother goes to the lecture. Yeah. But they end up going to the wrong lecture hall. And obviously they were like, no, keep going. Yeah. I'm not doing this. <laughs> they were like, Which this is smart for them. not in English. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. And I don't think they would have done well even if they'd found the yes. lecture hall. So now Wellstrung is there, but they have to do both anyway. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, Wellstrung is flying through these answers. Yeah. They seem very smart. They got like smart. over half of the answers right, like the first time they took the quiz. Yeah. So then they really only had to go back once. It looked like. Yeah, no, it they, said their second attempt they got. And they got it right. So I was like, whoa, they, they're making up time. Like, yeah. this could be good for them. Yeah, easy peasy, in and out. Yeah. They run over to the keg thing where Indy is, like, still running around, and who else are we? I think BB is still there. Oh, yeah, BB's there because they had just shown up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then there is this, the route info sort of takes them to these funny drunk guys in the tub, which yes. I just enjoyed. Right. And then they go to the roadblock. The roadblock. Which is the ringing telephones. Which I remember when the Globetrotters couldn't do it. I did and not see this season. It made me lose my mind. I was going to say, telephones have never looked scarier yeah. than the way they edited with the lighting and yeah. all the ringing. I was like, that seems horrible. The ringing would drive me by. Yeah. And Extreme is there first because mm -hmm. they're leading the pack this leg. Yep. And so she's just sort of like power through. She's Methodical. got like one, gotta go through, gotta go through. Yep. And so you're listening for a word mm -hmm. and then you're gonna end up with 10 words that you just have to figure out how to put together. Arrange them in a quote. all these ringing is happening. Yeah. But then once teams start arrive, you're like, obviously you want to work with somebody. Yes. So many phones. Oh my whatever. gosh. Which is what Team Yale and Team Firefighters end yes. up doing. They work together. They're team together. Extreme, she gets all eight words, however many it is. She misses it the first time, and I have to say, I've never seen someone stamp something so aggressively. The guy was like, boom, 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 like wrong. And so then she like rearranged a couple of the words and she got it. So they're yeah. first out. Yeah. Team Yale and Team Firefighters are working together. Yes. I thought he was going to ruin it for her because he right. says wife is one of the words. Yeah. But she very smartly was like, She was I like, think you know what? Life. It would make sense if it were life. Yeah. <laughs> so they figured it out. They work together. And so yeah. they're out second and third. And that's how it ends at the pit stop, right? One, two, right. three. Yeah, no delays or mishaps or whatever. They mm -hmm. they get right to the pit stop. Extreme gets their first place. And this is the sixth leg, and all six legs, they've been in the top three. Good stats for them. Wow. That shows some promise. That's exciting. Yeah. I, too, hope they stay in the top three. Yes. For the rest of the season. Now, Ocean Rescue was in that original group of four, right? On the first flight. Yes. They have been wandering around the streets for so long trying to An find hour this and a half. boat that Team IndyCar and Team Big Brother basically get to the boat at the same time as they do. They yes. all sort of pass each other yes. there. So now it's level playing field. Ocean right. Rescue has lost a lot of time. Yes, that's true. And they all end up getting the clue for the roadblock around the same time. So they're all sort of in this crazy phone ringing thing yes. together, yep. which is on one hand good because you could work together. Uh -huh. So this is interesting. Jess from BB is working technically Indy and Ocean and BB are working together in the Kafka phone room. Technically, yes. Because Jess says, I have five words and Ocean Rescue says, well, tell me what you've got and I'll tell you if I have words that you're missing. Yeah. So Jess sort of has this ad attitude of like, well, why would I work so hard and then just hand the answer over to you? Which I get to a certain extent, but then Jessup pulls a weird move. Well, I mean, I get it in that moment. If you're in the room with the phones and everyone is sharing their words and then other teams run out before you, yeah. then you're like, why did I why give did them I do that? the words? Mm -hmm. So she chooses to give them an incorrect word, one of her words, mm -hmm. she changes. Yeah. So when they all three walk out to write the sentence down, now she doesn't hand it there first. Nope. She would have been correct in, had she given them the right one, right. she wouldn't have been the first to leave. Right. So I don't know. It was, it was ballsy. Weird. So I think it was Ocean Rescue who handed her form in. She gets all the X's and then Jess is like, 
I'm just gonna try something. They're she, like, what'd you put down? Did you put down something different? She's like, yeah, hold on. Just, we'll see how it goes. So then she gets the stamp and they realize like she told us the wrong word. Yeah, they're like, what is it? She tells it to them. Then as she runs off, they're like, wait a minute. And yeah. they obviously figure it out right. immediately. And I'm confused why she did that at this point. I get the instinct of that, but you're gaining like 30 seconds on these people yeah. at that point. Yeah. What and and you're placing a huge target on your back, right. which is what happened. Now yeah. they're all like, "Well, we know who do you turn next." I mean, it's just unfortunate timing uh -huh. that you were the team to you turn someone else. Yeah. And you pulled that kind of shady move. Uh huh. It doesn't look good. No, it's not good social play. No, I get it. I totally get it. Yep. You Gotta make sure you're on that pit stop first. You are just playing the game, yeah. but it doesn't bode well to the other players. And then, in a little bit of a karma moment, Big Brother is the team out of those three who struggles the most getting a cab. At least it looked that way in the yeah, editing. Yeah, now this is when editing comes into play. Because mm -hmm. you're like, holy crap, they can't get a cab. They're running around. It appears that Wellstrung has just breezed through the keg yes, thing right. so easily. And you're like, oh no, what's going to happen? Mm -hmm. I mean... Even if BB came in before Wellstrung, but they came at the same time and were on the mat together, you'd yeah. still be like awkward. Yeah, totally. Yep. And you definitely are seeing in the editing like BB lost time compared to IndyCar and Ocean Rescue because Big Brother's still in their cab and they drive past IndyCar and Ocean yeah. Rescue running up to the pit stop. Right. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, they drove past it. Like, yeah. what's going to happen here? Yeah. Because, again, Well Strong is breezing through all of these challenges today. But, of course, editing. I know. They show up on that mat and Well Strong's not even in the peripheral. No. They're not even behind no. them anywhere. No. That so, new term was just too much to overcome. I mean, I was so bummed to lose Well Strong. I know. They made me laugh out loud so many times this episode. It made me love them even more than I already did. I was always rooting so for adorable. them. So adorable. I really loved them and I'm sad that they're gone. But yeah. at that point, I, I don't really want to lose BB either. I'm yeah. rooting for them as well. Yeah. So here we are. Here and we are. as they each arrive on the mat at the pit stop. Phil says, oh, be yeah. ready for anything. He really did plug that a few And times. I'm thinking, it's the partner swap. And yeah. sure enough, in the tease for next week, we see that they're going to Zimbabwe, it's a two hour episode, and it's gonna be the partner swap. And this is interesting timing for the Big Brother team specifically, right? I think. Nobody wants to be with them! Because everyone's rooting against that team, working against them, presumably. But How now, all of a sudden... How is this gonna work? How I don't is know. this gonna work? I don't know. Maybe it's only for one challenge? I have no idea. Yeah, it can only be for one challenge. Yeah. It can't be for like a whole leg. Yeah. That wouldn't make sense. And would it be like the, one, the teams together, like first and second? Are working oh, together? Sure. Is it like first and last are working together and then into the middle? I don't know. I'm confused. Yeah. So let's go through the order though real quick. So first place was extreme. Then yep. the firefighters come in second. I mean, I honestly, I would have put money. Yeah. The firefighters would be the next ones to be eliminated. For sure. I, I don't know. Are they just like finding their strengths uh, Right. Are they just surging at the right time? Yeah. <laughs> Yale is third. Yeah. Indy is fourth. Ocean Rescue fifth. BB sixth. Goodbye, Goodbye well strong. strong. Six teams left, six more legs. Yes. And so partnering, what do you guys think? And who do you want to see together? Right. That, who's going to create the most drama? Or maybe one of the extreme girls and one of the indie guys could like be yeah. great together. Oh, yeah. I you don't never know. know. Like yeah. what would make a super team too? I love that. Yeah. Tell us what you guys think and we'll see you next week. Okay, bye. Bye.